Hello friends, welcome to Prunku's Pipe Smoking Den. I'm Prunku, I'm in my den, and today I'm going to talk again about something that I already talked about in a previous video, and that is, well, the title of the video will be I have lots of tobacco. Uh, indeed, I I already talked about that in a previous video, which you can find a link to it in the description. Um, so, what I want to talk about today is um, what we commonly know as TAD and PAD. So. Um, I also found lots of interesting videos on uh, on YouTube and Facebook as well, so um, I will share uh, those with you as well. Uh, I don't know if I can put any parts of those videos into my video because it's intellectual property, so I will just give links to those videos in the description as well so you can find what I'm talking about you will find in the description so we were talking about tobacco about cellaring tobacco and one second I, I didn't light it up properly but this is a special tobacco that I will um, I will talk in a future video and uh, I will most definitely make a review to this amazing blend but um yeah anyway talking about sellers because people so um, this uh, this little corner of paradise of mine um, they've seen the original video I will also post a link to the original video in the description um, and they thought that all the tins that I have are full unfortunately like I said they are not I am collecting tins like people collect stamps I don't know weird but um, you know it's my thing I collect tins especially tins of tobacco that I already smoked and uh, that's also a way to remind me <clears throat> like when I look at a tin <clears throat> I remember the time I smoked it and how it was and stuff like that but uh, anyway getting back to today's subject I'll be talking about Tad and Pad um, in a very short, short uh, way, I won't get into much detail, but for those who don't know what TAD and PAD is, so TAD comes from, I hope I'm not uh, mm, translating it wrong, so TAD comes from Tobacco Acquisition Disorder and PAD comes from Pipe Acquisition Disorder so hmm, you know like um, women for example may have not really a disorder but uh, they have this thing of buying lots of shoes for example I'm just giving a random example 
okay no, I'm not generalizing on anything but as we know uh, women buy lots of shoes and um, they they collect lots of shoes um, I don't know others buy lots of um, I don't know alcohol uh, bottles like whiskey bottles and stuff like that but that is normal to some point um, however the let's say the the line between a normal and disorder becomes very thin at a point and that is the point when you basically you know that you don't have enough money to buy that stuff but you buy it anyway so that in my personal opinion is a trace of Ted or Pad. Also, a trace of Ted and Pad, in my opinion, is, for example, having many, many pipes. So here I'm talking about Pad. Having lots of pipes and uh, you don't get to smoke them all. You rarely smoke them all. So even though you don't have time to, to smoke them, you keep buying other pipes. Same goes with tobacco. You have lots of tins, full tins, and you don't have time to, you know, smoke them. And you just sell them and stuff like that. Um, it's not officially, <laughs> obviously, they are not rec recognizing the DSM as disorders. I don't think that the DSM would talk about tobacco dis uh, acquisition disorder or pipe acquisition disorder, but um, they are clearly something that's uh, that's very common among pipe smokers. Some like to buy lots of tobacco, like myself. Other likes like to buy lots of I don't know pipes, you know, because they like to have different shapes or full collections of I don't know, let's say pipes of the year or full collections of this and that. Um, it's about collecting, but it's also about something that goes beyond that. It. It's something that <clears throat> kind of makes you lose control of things. Now, I personally don't think that I suffer from TAD or PAD because, uh, well, I don't have uh, that much tobacco or the, that many pipes, in my opinion. Uh, I get to smoke from all of my pipes and... Uh, like I said uh, in the previous video, uh, the tobacco that I still have because many of the tins are uh, empty. I only have about, I don't know, at most 20 tins that are still having tobacco. And I haven't uh, bought any other tobacco, not yet. So for now, I'm good. I'm having enough tobacco to to smoke. However, there are people who buy lots and lots and lots of tobacco. And in the videos that I will show you in the description, um, you will see something that is, well, I don't know, it, it can be quite shocking to some people uh, because not, not just because it's a big big bunch of tobacco but um
but also because the people that have that collection of tobacco also have very very special tins and pouches and bags of tobacco that many of us can only dream of you know like uh, Why does this tobacco keep getting off? I don't get it. I, well, what's going on here? What the uh, hell? Yeah, um, I'm talking about, you know, having tons of tins and bags of esoterica and um, tons of tins of bulk and sobrani and uh, downhill and uh, Pelican from Butera and uh, brr, lots of stuff that many of us just dream about, you know? They have full packs and um, we don't have to envy, you know? Like, they most definitely put lots of money in that in order to have it, you know? And um, I don't know what their wives say. I see that some wives uh, even encourage and like that stuff, but um, I don't know. To a certain point, it's cool to have this. It's okay. But um, then again, it can be problematic, you know? So, to the people that th thought that I have a lot of tobacco, I'm going to share with you some links with people that actually have a lot, a lot of tins pouches, bags of tobacco. You will see what a real collection of tobacco is compared to what I have. And like I said, my things are empty. The ones that you will see are full. Or at least that's what uh, the people who film those say if they claim that they're full so um yeah i uh, i think that's about it i wanted to tell you what ted and fed are uh my points of view i mean not my points of view my the way i see it and to present you those very, very, very interesting videos. Again, don't envy people who have too much. They worked hard to get those, so... Although... It's hard to say don't envy them when you see tons of esoterica blends that many of us didn't even have the, the 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 opportunity to smell them you know it's uh hard not to but anyway check those those videos and uh, come back and tell me do i have lots of tobacco do they have lots of tobacco what do you think about Tad and Pad. I'm waiting for your comments uh, and uh, I don't know until next time as usual take care and uh, happy puffing